Hey guys, I'm back with a new lock style to show you today. I have these extended two strand twists, so let's just get right into the tutorial. This is how long my hair is, it's about shoulder length, and this is me with the twist halfway done. They were coming out so cute. Um, yeah, so I used this Cuban twist hair in the color four. I got the 16 inches because I wanted them to look kind of real, but you know, do you, you can get them as long as you want. And they're separated into these sections. So I took a section, cut it in half, and then separated that half into two right all right so this is me just you know taking out some of the locks um, I was always counting to make sure I had an even number and I started twisting obviously so once I get to about halfway with the lock I take one of those halves that I split in half put it behind the lock put it on each side so it's in two like you see and then I start twisting it to make the piece of hair and the lock kind of like one and then I just keep twisting from there if you know how to do Sen mm, excuse me Senegalese <laughs> twist then um, it's similar to that and then while I was twisting it my my like it kept getting really tight at the roots so I kept having to like let go and then loosen it a little bit um, you know if you do if that happens to you while you're doing this just know that that's normal okay anyway so when I got to like almost the end of my lock I took that other half and put that on the end and did the same thing twisted it on um, and then kept on twisting like I said it's like Senegalese twist so if you can do those you can already do it pretty much and then I just rubber banded it at the end with a little loop all right so I'm gonna show you that again a few more times oh yeah and then I uh, I uh, loosened it at the roots again just because when you're twisting it, it gets too tight. Alright, so if you have any pieces sticking out like this one, you're just going to take a crochet needle and pull it through. It's pretty simple, and uh, it just makes it even more seamless. Speaking of that, though, um, I'm glad I can finally do this style because I tried to do this style like last year, but I still had my blonde tips at the end of my locks, so you could see like where my locks ended because of the blonde tips. So I'm glad that I don't have those anymore, and I can do this now. Also, I did this while, I mean, after I did a retwist, but you can do it while you're retwisting just to, you know, do everything in one. I just knew that this would take me days, so um, I just did it separately. <laughs> All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm just going to keep showing you. I just keep cutting it in half and then splitting that half in half again, and I'm, you, I'm I ended up separating the halves in half again just because of how small my locks are so if you have thicker locks you could probably just use the whole half without separating it again you know what I mean and I think because I was doing that I got more use out of the hair I only used three and a half packs of hair but again if you have thicker locks you're gonna have to use thicker pieces so you might use more hair I got the color four because my hair is brown um, a lot of girlies be <laughs> getting 1B hair when it, they really should be getting a color too but that's another story so yeah I just keep showing y'all over and over again you get the hang of it after a while just you know also make sure you're twisting to the left because you retwist to the right so you'll twist to the left I'm not gonna lie this took me a very very long time the retwist alone took me a long time and then this these twists took me two more days after that okay but I'm just really slow it takes me so long to retwist and do my hair in general and also I just have a lot of locks so it could be that um, this is me almost done they're not that heavy to be honest like at all they just feel like what my hair is probably gonna feel like when it's actually this long so you know it's not any like like too much tension or pulling or anything maybe if you wear it in a ponytail but I've been doing this thing all year where I'm not wearing my hair up because I'm trying to see if you know that helps out my perimeter but that's another story anyway so yeah I just keep doing that over and over keep adding the hair by the way I was putting the piece of hair on the side closest to me I don't know if it makes a difference but yeah all right and then at the end I took some mousse I put that all over my hair and then I dipped the ends in some hot water only the ends I just wanted to see if it would make a difference here's the difference that's the side I did and this is the side I didn't do I feel like it's a slight difference like it's slightly more like relaxed and not frizzy um 
yeah so here they are when they're done they look great they blend so well make sure you use enough hair so that you know the lot gradually gets thicker um you know kind of just like any type of feed-ins with braids twists anything super cute um i don't know how long i'm gonna leave these in maybe like two or three weeks i'll keep y'all updated and then it's gonna be a twist out when i take them out i can't wait if you have any questions comment below be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already let me know any other styles you might want to see and i'll see you guys in another video follow me on instagram and tiktok bye